Hello fragrance specialists, my name is Chance, welcome to my guide and thank you so much for tuning in to another one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today we're going to be going over lemongrass, which is one of the more common essential oils I guess. Uh, if for no other reason than its price point, it's really cheap, at least relative to a lot of the others we've covered. Usually around $10 or so is what I think the average is, or around there for sure. Now before we dive into its profile, always consult your doctor before use. It's a relatively safe oil, but still err on the side of caution. Now let's dive right in. Its scent is described as having a fresh, lemony, grassy, and earthy aroma, as the name kind of suggests. Its uses are most commonly muscular aches and pains, gastro gastrointestinal disorders, indigestion, physical and mental exhaustion, acne, and as an insect repellent. Very popular as an insect repellent, by the way. Under method of extraction, you'll see that it is steam distilled and it blends well with cedarwood, Helichrystum Italicum, Helichrystum Ginephilum, and Lavender, Lemon, Melissa, and Sandalwood. Please do check out the playlist for all those videos. And it is, under notes, it is a possible skin irritant. This is especially true of those higher concentrations, so just make sure you're prop following proper dilution for whatever it is you're using it for. Now let's dive into its history. Also called Kosherin grass, East Indian lemongrass, or Malbar grass, it is a perennial grass native to India, Sri Lanka, Burma, and Thailand. In Sri Lanka, lemongrass is used as a herb in cooking, in addition to its use for the essential oils. In India, it is used both as a medicinal herb and in perfumes. In Hoodoo, lemongrass is the primary ingredient of Van Van oil, one of the most popular oils used in conjure, which is their way of like conjuring spirits and stuff. Pretty cool, I don't want 100%, I don't know. Their beliefs are their own. I've never summoned a spirit using lemongrass oil before, but that's just me. If you have different experiences, share them down beneath. In any case, let's check out a quick and easy recipe. So this one has a lot of amounts, but just scale them down and keep the um, ratio the same if you want to scale it down. So it's 80 drops peppermint, 70 drops eucalyptus rotata, and 40 drops lemongrass, and that is your focusing personal inhaler recipe. Uh, take whatever ratio you put in, put it in your personal aromatherapy inhaler, and just inhale as needed. It's relatively simple and effortless, and yeah, that's really all there is to it. That being said, let me know what you think of lemongrass down beneath in the comment section. Be sure to mention any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns you may have. If you're curious about adding it to li your library, or if you're running low, I highly suggest you resupply using Rocky Mountain Oils. Links down beneath in the description. And as always, guys, I hope you all have a great day, and may all of your future endeavors smell divine.